Hello and welcome. We are so excited that you are joining us for the Illinois Association of College Admissions Counseling College Fair. We have some wonderful institutions joining us. We are in session A6. So you should be able to see the institutions on your screen right there for session A6. And so we are very excited. Just a few um, housekeeping items as we are getting started here. If you're joining us, you can ask questions using the Q&A function in Zoom. And so please make sure that you direct those specifically to the institution that you're wanting to hear from. Uh, in this webinar, your camera and microphone are off. And so um, you will be able to just ask questions via the Q&A in order to best communicate with us. You can also sign up for more sessions there are additional institutions that will be here um, over the next two hours, and you can sign up for those sessions by visiting strivescan.com slash Illinois. And then finally, we will, be, um, we will be making recordings available for this session so that you can um, receive this information again, catch up on any links that are sent out, um, as well as other sessions happening today as well. So without further ado, we have some wonderful institutions to hear from, and I am now going to turn it over to American College Dublin. Right, I'm just gonna go ahead and share my screen. Oh. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Sarah Healy and I am an admissions counselor he uh, here at American College Dublin. So just to start off the presentation, I wanted to show you all this picture. Um, so at the end, you can see that uh, a church, this is St. Anne's Church um, on St. Anne Street. And this is where the American College Dublin hosts their formal graduation cer ceremonies. So there's something for you all to look forward to a little further down the road. Um, and if you bring your eye a little further back, um, you know, you see the rest of the street. So the reason I wanted to show you all this is because this is pretty much a standard street in Dublin. There's always a lot going on, um, a lot of stores, little libraries, restaurants, pubs, um, anything like that. So there's a lot for you um, to do and to discover within the city, um, which we think is really important and I'll touch on uh, a little further into the presentation. So uh, American College Dublin is an Irish American university. And what this means is that we uphold the standards of accrediting bodies from both, from both Ireland and the United States through Quality Qualifications Ireland and the Middle States Commission on Higher Education. Um, so all this means for our students is that they are able to take the path that they believe suits them the best. And what I mean by that is through each um, accrediting body, you kind of, the path that you take, um, so for the Middle States Commission on Higher Education, you would kind of do that standard uh, four year four year track and take a lot of extracurriculars and things like that. For the quality qualifications Ireland, um, they're more focused on your direct degree. So you wouldn't really be taking classes outside um, of the major that you would decide on. So if you're really interested in international business, say you wouldn't be taking a lot of history courses. Um, so, it, so it really gives a student um, you know, an ability to pick the path that works best for them. So a really great thing about the American College Dublin are the small and interactive lectures. So the lectures at ACD are typically less than 20 people. Uh, I was able to get out over to Dublin uh, last year before all of this craziness started taking place. Um, and I would say that it's, it's usually around seven to 10. We really, um, you know, want the classes to be an interactive experience. Um, we want you to be talking just as much or not more than the professor, because um, we also find it important that you learn a lot of different perspectives in the classroom. Um, so that's why we think it's so important to have that discussion, debate, and of course, a little bit of Irish wit um, in the classroom. So one, it never gets boring. And two, you just learn that much more. And you're not just getting it from a book or a teacher, but from your peers as well. So Dublin is your campus. We really love to um, push our students to get out in the city and really see what it's all about. So we want you to take advantage of everything that the city has to offer and you know, go explore places that maybe you wouldn't think of going because you really never know what you'll find there. We say that we really like 
for you to, you know, learn these things in the classroom and in your books and from your peers, and then go out into the city and kind of make that full circle connection. So you can really have that aha moment. Um, we think that's really important. So Dublin is your campus. <laughs> so these are the, um, some of the degrees that we offer. So we have that three year um, bachelor's degree, which is through the QQI. Um, so we have that in international business and liberal arts. And then we have the four year bachelor's, um, which is through the middle states, which is international business, hospitality management, event management, liberal arts with those specializations, and then a four year BFA in musical theater, performance and creative writing. So another thing that we are really excited about at American College Dublin are these internship modules that we offer. Um, so the capstone modules are for um, the bachelors in international business, hospitality management, event management, the BFA in musical theater, and then a few more of our master's programs. Um, and we like to have this opportunity for our students because we think it's really important for them to have that experience in the business environment. Not only, um, you know, is it good to have on your resume for after you leave, after you leave the school, but it also gives you that real life experience that no matter what you do after school, you kind of have that extra boost of confidence because you've interacted with, you know, people a little bit senior to you, um, and you kind of know how to behave in that like very structured uh, business world if that's you know the route you want to take after graduating. Um, so we think that's important and also to gain your confidence. Um, so and then in the back, that was a, a group from a, few, from a few years ago. So our admissions process uh, welcomes applicants from every corner of the globe. So we are really aimed at gathering a holistic view of the applicant. So we are really aimed at getting to know who you are, not only as a student, but as a person what drives you, what your passions are, um, you know, so we can see that you would vibe and mesh well um, at the school. So we really want to know everything about you that we can. We're not, we're not too focused on the numbers, um, but, you know, we, we want to get to know who you are. So because of that, what's required is a minimum 2.0 GPA um, verified by a transcript or a resume, uh, a CV um, for any previous, uh, for mature students or transfer students like you all. Um, a personal statement or a cover letter that describes why you would like to study your chosen area at ACD. So this would really be your opportunity um, to show us who you are. Like I said before, we really care about that. Um, we wanna get to know you. We wanna make that personal connection. So that would be your opportunity. And then the rest of these are optional. So the resume or CV, standardized test scores, AP test scores, any recognition or awards and publications. Um, so, you know, if you feel like those are important to you and describe who you are, we'd love to um, see them. This is the tuition, I'm running out of time. <laughs> um, and again, my name is Sarah Healy. And if you have any other questions, my email's right there. Feel free to reach out. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And my apologies for cutting you off. You're welcome to send <laughs> the information on the uh, on the chat for students to utilize links or contact information. So moving right along, we are now going to hear from Goldsmiths, University of London. All right, just get my screen share going. All right. Um, Hello, my name is Will. I am the International Officer at Goldsmiths, University of London. I am personally based in Brooklyn, New York. Um, however, uh, as you can tell by our name, perhaps, uh, Goldsmiths is located in the wonderful city of London in the southeast section of the city. We were founded in 1891, and we have been part of the prestigious University of London since 1904. We're a medium-sized, top-tier public research institution with about 10,000 students, very diverse student body. 35% uh, of our students come from outside of the UK, from over 141 countries. Um, we have a very sizable um, LGBTQ plus population on campus. More than half our students are students of color, and we have a large first generation population on campus as well. We also have no lecture halls on our campus. So um, all of your courses will be held in small lectures, seminar style or workshop style classes. Our student faculty ratio is 14 to one. 
And we've also committed to 90% carbon neutrality by 2025 um, through our Green New Deal. So with this initiative, we have been, excuse me, um, we have been uh, banning beef on our campus. We ban single-use plastics. Um, we've also divested our endowment from fossil fuels. So um, we're really kind of gunning for this initiative uh, in the next few years. So London is a sprawling metropolis of about 12 million people. Um, our campus is located in the southeast part of the city. It is a single site campus. All of your undergraduate courses are held within this yellow dotted line here. Uh, you'll notice we have a college green, which is a great place to uh, hang out on the more sunny days in London. Our residence halls are also located um, just uh, off our campus or on campus. Um, so it's a quick commute to get to your classes. We're also just 10 minutes uh, on the overground from the city center. So it's a really great way to access amazing internships and work placements that we offer at Goldsmiths to all of our students. London itself is a wonderful place to study. It's been consistently ranked the best student city in the world, according to QS, um, that's three years in a row. Uh, there's nearly half a million students in London in any given year. Um, so it's really a fun place to um, study your undergraduate degree. And Goldsmiths Academics are leading for uh, eight subject areas. We are among the world's top 50. We are also in the top 100 in the world for the arts and humanities. And our degree programs focus mostly on the fine and performing arts, social sciences, humanities. We have a law school, school of education and social work. We're very well known for our media communications degree, uh, which includes our screen school for film and television and our journalism school. And we also are extremely well known for art and design. Um, the other thing about uh, UK education is that we do uh, put a high emphasis on undergraduate research. So we are number 21 in the UK for the quality and significance of our research. Here is a non-exhaustive list of all of our course offerings. We have about 75 undergraduate programs that are either single honors or dual degrees uh, that combine sort of two programs together. Uh, and you can go on our website for a full listing uh, across uh, all of our departments. In brief, the UK education system is uh, slightly different from what you might be used to in the US. We have three-year bachelor's degrees here uh, and one-year master's programs by and large. Um, so you can typically finish your degree much quicker. Uh, for transfer students, if you do have an associate's degree, it's at Goldsmiths, you can often enter into your second year, um, which would basically cut one year off of your uh, degree program. Uh, so for you, it would typically be like a four-year degree. Um, but uh, some programs uh, also do not sort of offer transferability. Uh, we mostly do offer transfer for the vast majority of departments, but art and design, for instance, uh, do not let students enter into year two. Um, so that would be um, full three-year program. Um, our entry requirements for transfer students, uh, typically we don't require um, uh, test scores for transfer students. However, uh, a 3.0 unweighted GPA from both your high school and your community college or other university um, would be required. Um, if you do have test scores, you're welcome to submit them, but it's not required. The application is through UCAS, which is the aggregate application for all UK universities. Um, it is a direct application to each degree program and the deadline for all students is 15th of January, but programs do accept applications until 30th of June if there's space available. Um, on UCAS, you can apply to up to five universities uh, and you can go on UCAS.com for more information about the UCAS application. Tuition and financial aid ranges from around 16,000 pounds to about 23,000 uh, pounds. We do offer international scholarships to students and those are available for transfer students as well. Uh, and we also do accept federal direct loans, parent plus loans, and other sorts of funding you might receive from the federal government. Housing is mixed gender. We typically house undergraduate students separately from postgraduate students. And we do guarantee accommodation for international students in the first year um, that you're at Goldsmiths. So whether that's year two or year one. Um, we will still guarantee it for you. We have suite style accommodation. It's self-catered. So there's no um, sort of 
meal plan, but we do have cafeterias and restaurants on campus. You'll have your own room with your own bathroom and then share kitchens and living spaces with other students. You also will have the support from our career service while you're at Goldsmiths and for three years after. Um, as I mentioned before, we do offer work placements and internships for nearly all of our students at Goldsmiths. We place a really large emphasis on uh, these opportunities, whether they're in London or somewhere else in the UK or even abroad. Um, we also have a business incubator opening on our campus this spring. And should you wish to come back to the US, we have thousands of alumni here. Um, and um, I'll just skip through here to the end. Um, so um, my content information is listed here. Um, please check out our website and social media as well. Um, so thank you so much. Great, and thank you to Goldsmith University of London. Um, we are now gonna move on to our third presentation, which is going to be London Metropolitan. Hello everyone, um, my name is Chidon Joyner and I'm representing London Metropolitan University. And, and that is not really how I sound. Um, I always like to have fun on these Zoom sessions because we have done a lot of Zooms in the last year. But in all seriousness, I am um, an international officer and I'm representing London Metropolitan. And so my job is to make the transition from United States to the UK to London as easy as possible. Um, I have family in the Midwest, and so I very much understand a lot of what's going on kind of in the Indiana, Illinois area. And so I'm excited to work with you and answer any questions that you might have about the university. So just a quick overview of who we are. We have two campuses. We are located in central London. We have a hallway road and an Altgate campus. We have 10,000 students and like Goldsmiths, we offer the three year bachelor's and one year master's program. So it can often be a lot quicker and affordable for students to study um, at London Metropolitan. We accept US financial aid and veterans benefits and we have over 200 undergraduate and postgraduate programs. So one thing that we're really passionate about is either is our diversity. We really believe in making university accessible to students from all over the world. And so over 64% of our students come from um, Bain, um, which is Black, Asian, or minority ethnic background. We have over 147 not different nationalities represented at our university. And over 96% of the students, staff, and faculty come from one or more underrepresented groups. And so we really believe in that making the university accessible and we really want you. We want you with your background, with your culture, with your opinion, and we want to really um, allow you to interact with all the people from all over the world at London Metropolitan and just allow us to help build a better world. And so one of the alumnuses that we're really proud of is Sadiq Khan, who is the current mayor of London, and he really believes in London as, in, as a higher education capital of the world, and that's something that we really strive to do. And so a couple other things, and I, and I mentioned before, but it's considering a degree at London Metropolitan, it can often be cheaper than a lot of the private or public, or I'm sorry, the private or the um, out of state options. Um, we do offer international scholarships and there is an opportunity for you to stay in the UK and work after you graduate. And then, you know, if you want to kind of come back to, the, to Illinois, there we have longer breaks so students can come back and forth if they were looking to do that. Also, we are rolling admissions and we have no application fee. We have a flexible start date so you can start in September or January, whatever you are looking to do. And we generally accept students with around the 3.0 GPA. We are test optional for the fall. And we always encourage students to apply earlier because those students have a greater opportunity for receiving international scholarships. So now I'm going to bust through a couple pictures. And so this is uh, one of my favorite pictures. It's a picture from our Holloway Road campus. And this is pretty much our left brain campus. So this is more of our human sciences, our business, and even some of our social science courses. This is where our library, gym, student union, all of those things are located. We're actually directly next to Emirates Stadium, which is where Arsenal Football Club plays if you're interested in Premier League soccer or football. And then we're also about a five minute tube station away from St. Pancras Station, where you catch 
the Eurostar to Paris or Belgium, or you could catch, uh, go to platform nine and three quarters and catch the train to Hogwarts. So that is our Holloway Road campus. And if you're more of a right brain student, we have our Altgate campus, which is in East London, which houses our architecture, design, fine arts. But as I mentioned before, we have over 200 postgraduate and undergraduate programs for you to choose from. So I'm gonna go through a couple of these pictures. This is our new super lab, which is one of the largest in Europe. This is some of our learning centers, which are very modernized and kind of combine that classical and modernized element of the UK. Some more of our classrooms. We have newsrooms and TV studios that students have access to. Art and architecture and design studios that you would be um, able to see or work in if you're an art student or if you just want to see them, you can uh, also just kind of walk around and see these amazing creations that your classmates have created. We have cafes, bars, chill out zones, and it's really awesome. You know, uh, Goldsmith, um, Will, he mentioned that um, London was ranked one, the number one city for international study. One of the reasons is a lot of the universities give discounts for you to be able to go to different things. So specifically, if you're at London Met, you can go see Broadway shows or the uh, English version of Broadway, which is West End shows for, you know, you can see The Lion King for $30 or something like that versus like the hundreds of dollars that it could cost. We have gyms, sports halls, dance studios, really anything that you can think of, we pretty much have it. And, you know, we're still, a, we're still kind of in a pandemic. We're starting to come out of it a little bit, but if you want to get a really good feel for what the campus is like, you can check out this video. You can type in, do something you love, and you can get this really awesome led student tour where you really get a feel for the campus and what it's like being in London. And then again, my name is Jadon Joyner, and I am here to help you. So if you have any questions, I would love to connect with you and answer anything that you might have. And I'm looking forward to speaking with you soon. All right. And I'm going to pass it off to the next person. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, and we are just going to keep moving right along. We are now going to hear from Oxford Brookes University. Great. Here we go, just starting the presentation. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Siobhan Frank. I'm the Global Recruitment Manager here at Oxford Brookes University. Um, I help students from the US, Canada, and Mexico to come over uh, to study in the UK and figuring out that uh, it is possible and you can do it. Um, while I sound like I'm from North America, and I am, I am from Canada initially, I do uh, live in Oxford, so I am located near the university. Uh, so what we'll do today is we'll just go through some of the uh, information about the school, some of the things that we offer, and then some of the uh, basic information that you'll want to know uh, when you're looking to come here. So Oxford Brookes University, uh, we have, we're about a mid-sized university. We have about 18,000 uh, students here at the university, 17% uh, of which are international from about 140 different countries. Uh, you'll typically find that most uh, UK, inter UK universities are uh, quite a bit more internationally focused than, um, than say in North America. It is much more common for people to travel around from different locations, partly because we're so much closer to each other. Uh, in the UK, uh, but you will see higher populations of international students, which is really great. I mean, you're going to get a great international experience. You're going to get to meet people from all different areas of the world. Uh, it's going to be help you, I think, uh, to gain those cultural competencies uh, when you're meeting different people, particularly when you are going back and looking for employment. Uh, more and more employers are now looking for uh, international experience from their applicants. So here you can see a few nice shots of Oxford. Uh, we are located in the city of Oxford. You might be recognize the name uh, from the uh, university that we also share the city with. Uh, so Oxford itself has two universities. We have Oxford Brookes University and the University of Oxford. As a student here, you're going to get access to some of the nice facilities over at the University of Oxford. So all of our Oxford Brooks students have access to the, what's called the Bodleian Library. Uh, so if you Google a picture of Oxford and you see a big round building, that's called the Radcliffe Camera, uh, and that's part of the Bodleian Library system. 
Uh, so you will get access to that. As an Oxford book student, you'll also get access to the Oxford Union, uh, which is a debating society, but they also hold a number of different events. So they've had all sorts of different speakers. They've had uh, Game of Thrones cast to political and world leaders to uh, famous rappers who have come. So there's all sorts of different things that are going on that you can get involved with. Um, on our bottom left, you can see our School of Law building. That's where our law students study. And over here on our right, you can see our John Henry Brooks building. Uh, this was recently refurbished in 2014. Uh, and up on the top right, you can see our floating lecture theater. So we do have a very strong architecture program uh, and it's, it does tend to uh, resonate in the buildings that we have here on campus. So why Oxford Brookes University? Uh, it's more than just our rankings. Uh, we do rank really well. We uh, rank in the top, uh, the top 30, 20 subjects, sorry, the top universities for 13 subject areas. Um, we also rank second in the UK for uh, teaching, according to the Times or the, the um, Times Higher Education Young University Guide. Uh, so we do, in addition to that, uh, you're going to get the experience of living in Oxford, uh, which is a world famous city known for its rich education and history. Uh, over here on our left hand side, we've got a nice picture of some of our students who are doing what's called punting, uh, which is along the River Thames, which runs through the center of the city. Uh, and this is something that you can catch a lot of students doing. It's sort of quintessentially Ox Oxonian slash uh, famous in Cambridge as well. Um, but in addition to that, you're going to gain the fundamental skills necessary to move on to employment. At Oxford Brooks, we do really focus on giving you the applied skills necessary to take into the workplace. So again, as, as some of the other presenters mentioned today, uh, it's very common in the UK to see the three-year degrees. Um, they're going to be much more focused degrees. And oftentimes, including a lot of the courses that we hear, have here at Oxford Brooks, you'll have an option for a one-year work placement as well. So in addition to getting that education, you can get some work experience as well to take home with you. Now, as an international student, you're also going to gain, uh, you're also going to have the support system actually in place uh, with our international student advice team. It is a team designed specifically for you to make sure that you've got all the support you need as an international student while you're here. So this is a, is a nice picture of some of the courses that we offer. So on our left hand side, uh, we're very well ranked for motorsport engineering courses. Uh, and that's just a snapshot of some of the facilities that we've got for motorsport engineering, as well as some of the kit that you can play with. Um, on our right hand side, we have some of our sport and exercise uh, nutrition facilities. Now in the bottom, you can also see a picture of our boathouse. So Oxford Brooks University is actually very, very well known for our rowing team. Uh, we are internationally recognized and we do have more placements at the Henley Regatta than either Oxford, Cambridge or Harvard University. So um, our, our rowing team does have an Olympic pathway. It's quite an interesting uh, place and you can always see uh, rowers out along the river. Now, in addition to that, we have about 30 different clubs or sports clubs. Uh, that you can also participate in. And they are available for students at all different levels. So uh, you don't necessarily have to be a division athlete. If you're interested in playing at, um, at Oxford Brooks, you can certainly come here and study and play the sport that you're interested in as well. Now, some of our entry requirements, uh, pretty basic. We've got that GPA, uh, 3.0 GPA plus one of either your SAT, AP, or ACT. Uh, we are going test optional now for 2021-22. Um, but again, if you are looking for credit entry, um, please just do be, please just submit your, uh, if you submit your application, you meet that minimum entry requirement. Um, they'll evaluate your, uh, your uh, entry requirements kind of on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, different subjects have slightly different uh, criteria, but we do certainly welcome credit transfer. Now, again, our tuition fees range between that 14,000 and that 17,000 pounds in tuition. Uh, and our work placement years usually have a nominal placement fee uh, between that 1,500 and 2,000 pounds. As uh, most UK universities, you're also going to hear that we do accept FAFSA, Veterans Loans, uh, Veterans Affairs Benefits, and Sally Mae Loans. Uh, and we do also offer a £2,000 International Early Acceptance Scholarship. So again, if you are looking for that credit transfer and you are looking for September entry, that's an option as well. Now, uh, a few of our colleagues have already gone through the application process, so I won't go through that. But if you do have any questions at all, please do feel free to have a look either at our website or get in touch with me at sfrank.brooks.ac.uk. Thanks so much. Have a nice night.
Wonderful. Thank you to Oxford Brookes University for presenting. And we now have uh, two more presenters left to, hear, left to hear from, excuse me. And so we will now hear from the University of East London. And Siobhan, we'll need you to stop screen sharing if that's okay. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, James. Hello, everyone. Hopefully you can see my presentation up here. Lovely to be speaking to you today. My name is Annabelle and I work at the University of East London. Um, I am based in London, so it's a good evening from us over here and I hope you're having a good afternoon on your end. Um, so as it shows in the title, it is the University of East London based in London, England. Um, the University of East London, we are really proud to be welcoming students from all over the world. And we do have a sizable portion of students coming in from the US. Um, and one thing that we really love is that we very much see London as an extension to our campus. And we really see that our students enjoy London and the surrounding areas. So like many of um, the presentations before, it is a, such a, an amazing city. It's very dynamic. Um, it's pretty much everything on your doorstep. And so it's a great place to study. And so there's this quote here, which mentions when a man is tired of London, he is tired of life by Samuel Johnson. And we really firmly believe that. So a little bit about the University of East London, as you can see here, this is an aerial view of one of our campuses. So we have a campus in the Docklands area, uh, which is very much kind of East London area right by the river. Um, and we also have a campus um, in East London as well, but kind of closer to the centre in a place called Stratford. Now this campus has our accommodation and it also has our sports facilities. So it is one of our um, we, ca we call it our main campus. And as you can see here, right in the middle, um, where my cursor is hovering over, that is our main buildings where you would have classes. And then these buildings right on the side of the river, these are our accommodation buildings. You can't see it because it goes outside the screen, but these line the river. So we have multiple accommodation buildings. Um, so you would get a gorgeous riverfront view if you um, choose to study with us. Um, we also are really well connected transport wise. So you will see in the middle of this circle here with the train running through. We have a station that joins directly onto the campus, which is great. It just really goes to verify that London is an extension of the University of East London. And it's also great from a safety point of view. You can travel around anywhere, come back late at night and you're straight onto the campus. So it is really great from a safety point of view and accessibility as well. So a little bit more about studying at the University of East London. Uh, our student population is 17,000 students in total, but that is across everything, including distance learning. We do have about 20% of our student body being international students. So a sizable population coming internationally from all different corners of the world. And in 1992, we gained university status. So we are under the bracket of modern universities within, um, within England. So we offer a range of different programs from a variety of areas. So as you can see on the screen, these are our first three schools. We have six schools in total. Um, and we offer programs such as architecture, computing, engineering, the creative arts, uh, business, law, hospitality, education and humanities, um, health, sport and bioscience and psychology as well. In terms of applying, as I know this is um, more geared towards tra transfer students. Um, most students would either choose to apply uh, via our website or via the Common App. Um, both would be free applications. Um, if you apply through uh, looking to transfer, it would be the same kind of method as it is if you're applying from high school. It would be rolling admissions, so you would receive a decision within two to four weeks. However, if you have a, a very specific case, uh, because a lot of the time with transfers, we have to look at the whole case and see your um, your records and we have to see, can you come into the second year um, or would you have to start from the beginning in the first year? So based on that, sometimes it can take a little bit longer. Now, as it's well been well said before, the duration of our programs 
is three years, and this is not specific to the University of East London, this is very much the, the English higher education system. Um, as a transfer student, I know ideally most students would be looking to transfer into the second year and complete their final two years. Um, again, this is very much on a case by case basis, but if you did, then you'd be able to finish the final two years with us. So tuition is in total around the $17,000 mark, depending on the exchange rate. The beauty is if you choose to study an undergraduate program with us, we do give you free textbooks for your entire degree. These won't come in book format, but they would rather come in electronic format. So you will have access to a database where you can access all your books. In terms of entry requirements, we usually ask for a 2.5 GPA, and we do ask you to submit any community college or university transcripts to determine what level of degree programs you'll be able to transfer into. If you're looking to get into a more specific or niche program, such as the arts, uh, photography, uh, maybe um, dance, then you might need to take an interview or do uh, some kind of um, virtual audition. So very similar to um, the presentations before, this, um, the accommodation at the University of East London includes a private room, private bathroom and shower room, and you share a kitchen between three to five students. We do offer meal plans, but as mentioned before, these aren't super common across the UK, um, generally because students get their own private space in the UK. So therefore, a lot of the time they will cook, students will cook together, and that's a really great way to socialize. Just a little mention about sports. So in 2012, um, we hosted Team USA at the University of East London, and it's created a sports legacy for the University of East London. So if you are into competitive sports, um, it's definitely a really fun university to be a part of. Equally, if you're not into competitive sports, we have a really great gym and a lot of great sporting classes. So you can get involved in that as and when you wish. So it's no, no surprise the students who choose to study with us love to travel. Obviously being based in London, we have so much travel on our doorstep from having the tube, which is the subway equivalent in the US that will take you around um, from 6 a.m. to around midnight. Um, and then we're easily connected to most UK cities and you can travel also to Europe and back to the US and Canada. So I know we have to wrap up now. So just to confirm, you can apply via the Common App or directly via our website. And this is our email, americas at uel.ac.uk. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Great, thank you to the University of East London. And then last, but certainly not least, we will now hear from the University of Stirling. Hi everyone, my name is Amy Easton. I'm just gonna share my screen, but my internet is being a little unstable tonight, so I won't be putting my camera on. Um, hopefully you don't mind, and apologies for that. So I think that's hopefully the presentation that's sharing now. As I said, my name's Amy. Um, similar to Siobhan, you'll hear in a North American accent from me. I'm from California originally, um, but I'm based here in Sterling. I did my undergrad degree, my master's degree, and have been able to stay and work for the university now. Um, so we'll give you a brief introduction. Stirling is located in really the heart of Scotland. We're right in between Glasgow and Edinburgh, which are our two major cities. Glasgow being our largest, Edinburgh being our capital. So it's less than an hour by train to each of those cities, which is where you'll find kind of our main international airports. We also have great train links and bus links from Stirling that can get you all over the UK. Um, and you can actually be from Stirling to London on the train in five and a half hours, or about one and a half hours from either Glasgow and Edinburgh. So very well connected where we are. What it means though, is we have a beautiful campus. Um, we're located about two miles from our main Stirling city center. Um, and we really have a purpose-built university campus based on a North American style. So everything is on your doorstep from your accommodation, your Starbucks, our cinema castle on campus. We have an art museum. Um, as well as our sports facilities. And we've actually been voted first in the UK and one of the top five universities in the world for our campus environment. Um, so it's a very beautiful place to live um, and definitely a, a great place to study if looking at nature is your thing. 
The university itself was founded in 1967. Um, prior to this, Scotland only had four universities, um, which we call the ancients, and Stirling was really the first of the new. We did have some colleges that later became universities, um, but Stirling was really the first purpose built um, for about 400 years. We're also the Sporting University um, of the Year for 2020, and we're known as the Sporting University of Excellence for Scotland. Medium-sized campus, about 14,000 students, 120 different nationalities represented. Um, we have five faculties, and we've also been voted the safest student city in the UK um, last year. And that's been a, a common thing that we've been voted um, throughout the years um, because of the local community and the campus itself. Our undergraduate degrees are actually four year bachelor's degrees in Scotland. Um, so very much like the US system, Stirling is very much a liberal arts style university. Our five faculties are arts and humanities, health science and sport, natural sciences, social sciences, and our Stirling Management School. That last one might throw you, but it's actually just a, a legacy name that has stayed because of rankings and, and accreditation that we have for our a management school. Um, out of that, I would say our business, marketing, management, criminology, journalism, English, film and media, politics, sociology, philosophy, those degrees are really common um, to be highly ranked. So most years we see them in the top five rankings in Scotland. So very popular for our, our US students to come and do degrees like that with us. Um, we are also test optional. Um, if you are looking to transfer, we ask for 3.0 uh, unweighted GPA, either from your current university or from a community college. If you are submitting for what we would consider a year two or year three entry, um, we do ask that you email in, in any syllabi or course outlines that you have that can really demonstrate what you've learned in those classes that you've already taken. We look at every application on a case by case basis, looking at what you've already studied, your academic reference and your personal statement to make sure that we can uh, find a suitable level for you, whether that's a uh, two year or three year entry. Um, or if it needs to be a first year entry, if perhaps you're doing something completely different as a major that you haven't done yet in your studies, you might be offered first year. But we definitely work with you to make sure we find the best option. Um, we do have three different options to apply to us. We are on UCAS, um, which does have a small fee if you are using UCAS for any university. Um, you can apply from one to five different options but it's very affordable. It's about $35 usually to apply up to five schools using UCAS. We're also on Common App um, and we also have direct applications. So we just ask that you choose one method and stick to it when applying to us. Scholarships, um, similarly mentioned at other universities, we do have a 2000 pound tuition fee discount in the form of the Undergraduate International Student Scholarship. We also have various sports scholarships and we really specialize in golf, soccer, swimming, tennis, triathlon, American football and rugby. We also have curling now, so if any curlers are out there, we'd always uh, welcome a chat to see if we can offer you a sports scholarship. Um, like many universities here tonight, we do uh, accept financial aid, so your uh, FAFSA loans, GI Bill, and private loans like Sally Mae. Tuition overall is between about £15,000 and just under £18,000, depending on what course you're doing, and that's before any scholarships. As an international student with a visa, you're able to work 20 hours per week, but Sterling is also known for having the lowest living cost in the UK, and that's been consistent since about 2017. But overall, you would expect about 9,000 to 10,000 pounds for your uh, kind of living ex expenses. I won't say too much about accommodation because it has been uh, mentioned, we're quite similar across the board, I would say in the UK and that we have very much apartment style living. You do have your own bedroom. Uh, there's no roommates. We have the option to pay a little bit more for private ensuite bathroom facilities or shared facilities, but keeping in mind it's apartment style. So it's never too many people sharing bathrooms here. 24 hours support, we do have resident assistance, um, and we also have a accommodation on campus and off campus. But these are my contact details, so do get in touch um, if you would like any more information or would like to apply. And with that, just thank you so much for your time.
Fantastic. Thank you so much to all of our institutions for joining us. Um, as you leave this webinar, if you're joining as a student, you'll have access to a quick survey um, that will allow you to just tell StriveScan how you feel like the fair went so that we can continue to improve those moving forward. Um, you can also sign up for more sessions that are happening today um, or future dates as well, um, depending on um, where you're from. And then finally, the recordings for these sessions will be made available on strivescan.com slash Illinois. So again, thank you so much to um, our institutions in the um, UK in particular for joining us, um, some of them doing so at very late hours of the evening. So everybody have a great day. Thank you so much.